Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Melbs and welcome back to the Uganda vlog series One Life. This is episode number three. If you guys are new here, make sure you click the subscribe button and join the Melbs firm, be part of the gang and make sure to follow your girl across all social media platforms. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to be back with episode number three. So we live in One Life, One Life. Oh, you better leave it up, leave it right. So as I already mentioned in the other vlogs, this is gonna be a little sit down slash story time situation where I just throw in footage that I have of the time I spent in UG. I started off with a flat tire. I personally feel like because of the tweet that I put out and the commotion that it caused, some people, you know, played part in me ending up having a flat tire. But yeah, anyways, I had a flat tire. Now we were heading to XFM. We were just the the last studio. Get the night, and it's not over yeah. there as well. So that was definitely great. It was actually my first time to be hosted. We decided to go to the Garden City rooftop that very day as well, which was the first night that the Garden City rooftop had. Um, I had been on the rooftop before, but when it was still a restaurant, um, I had Indian food. The last time I was there was with Pia after our massage, and the food was really good. Um, but yeah, it has turned into a whole night club spot. Um, just to explain why there weren't really people there. First of all, it was the first night. Second of all, during that time, we were kind of, not kind of, we were still in lockdown. Um, so yeah, obviously limited movement from people and stuff like that. Um, they hadn't really figured out what kind of events they would be having there. <laughs> As you can see we had a great time um, at this point I want to say a huge enormous shout out to Selecta <laughs> Huge shout out to Selector J who makes sure he plays our songs whenever we come through and um, yeah it's just a blessing so One Life was playing over there. <laughs>
yeah that was definitely a great stuff um shout out to select the j also make sure you guys follow select the j on his social media platforms he is really so so supportive whenever me and lids hear that selector is going to be somewhere we make sure to at least pass by just because first of all we know good music is guaranteed second of all just how supportive he is that is the least that you know we can do i also decided to go see my singer owen songa <laughs> um yeah my singer and you know my cousins and all of that i actually got to see my niece nava who i hadn't seen in so long and you know she has become a whole teenager now um so yeah it's just interesting to see like my nieces turn into teenagers and you know the way they talk and how they tell you you know what is popular at the moment the things they do and how school is and all of that also because uganda had been on the longest school break during covid which is two years um kids have not been in school so yeah just talking to her about you know going back to school then i also saw my cousin babs um, who does not not age a bit all of them by the way do not age i know black doesn't cry but with my family they took it to a whole nother level like it's so crazy first of all the genetics that god bless us with yeah Mwah, chef's kiss god is good god is so great yeah, after my family time i went over to sanyu fm um who are always so supportive whenever i drop anything huge shout out to dj huge shout out to jalu huge shout out to timothy code yeah just to name a few of the peeps that um always make sure that uh we have a great time whenever we head over to sanyu fm it literally feels like a family radio station at this point um but yeah that was good time times as well i went there with omar and sean kingston kingston sean kingston have a look at how our time at sanyo fm went so we live it one life one life so you better live it up live it right we only get one life one life so you better live it up live it right take us through the song this love track mm -hmm. mm. um one life is um early you have one 2000s life to go. r b jam a very relatable song if i may say so myself i feel like both sides you know a woman represented a guy um yeah just taking you guys back to them days um and you know dating put in yeah a bit of afro in there as well because obviously we're ugandan mm. so so is this is this how you uh, is this the omnibus of how you do the music uh how how you do the music would you be like releasing one song are you doing an album are you doing an ep yeah i'm definitely working on an ep um for next year 2022 um so yeah and i want the ep to be everything is me again like you know have input of all the music that i listened to grew up listening to everything that inspires me um so yeah mm. look out for that Anything you should look at for collaborations, Lydia Jasmine out there. Um, they are very tight. That's gonna be a surprise, but obviously that's my girl. So you know, we are we're both very passionate vocalists. So I'm sure we're gonna come up with some mm. dope. But yeah, we've we've hit the studio a couple of times. Um, mm. So yeah, mm. when the time is right. Mm. What does she say about you? <laughs> By the way, I sent her your greetings and she, you know, sent her greetings back. No, 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 because I've seen like every time I'm in the same room with this chick, she looks at me like, like deeply. Uh -huh. Like she's saying something I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> like, Lydia just me, love you. I love you love so you much, man. Like, you know, that's my gang out there, you know. <laughs> yeah, I saw you tweeted about, you know, uh, you trying to make money to just come back yeah. to Uganda. The music how have you been um i've been good you know i've been good just trying of course we're still in this whole pandemic situation mm -hmm. uh, when i released the song this pandemic had just started and now two songs later we're still here so um yeah it's a bit crazy didn't think it would go this long mm -hmm. but other than that life is good you know still mm -hmm. studying still doing music um mm -hmm. yeah. before, before i ask you about the way that's happening right now uh, yeah uh, 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 you saying that you study? Like yes. You, uh, what do you study? I'm studying health economics. Health, oh, mm. What does that? Uh, um, it's basically, you know, the business side of the health center. So if it is, you know, managing and dealing with hospitals or clinics, 
of health insurances or anything the business side of you know anything health basically. So let's talk about the weight. These uh Melissa weight right now. <laughs> you know, like she tweets something and it explodes <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, I'm noticing. You know, she tweets something, we tweeted like, you know, I I I had that you know, she was a gang on us is become like very too big. Next it's like yeah, you do. Yeah, old man from what's okay, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 tell me about that, you know, and how you, uh, how you like receiving it. Yeah, um, you know what? It's it's funny. It's weird to me, honestly. Especially Twitter is just hilarious. Like to me, it's just a very, very fun platform. So whenever I put stuff out there, I don't really think that oh. This is gonna, you know, go places or anything. I just literally share whatever I'm doing because I also vlog, so I'm so used to that, anyways. You vlog, yeah. I noticed that you also vlog, and uh, your dad, yeah, you also put your dad in the mix. <laughs> I do. You, uh, yeah, That's before you left the country, you posted something. Yeah, and yeah. we had a video, and I actually, yeah, it made the, its rounds as well because people were, you know, talking about the relationship I have with my father and how, you know, it's so cool. Um, did a little singing challenge there um, and yeah a lot of people were saying you know down here that they could couldn't even have a conversation with their dad so and I, and I want to talk about that how's your relationship with your dad you know for, for so many for so many uh, Ugandans for so many people yeah I'm okay. uh, we have uh, I, don't, I don't know how to put this we don't have that type of relationship with our fathers and how is it important and how is it uh, steered you in your music journey yeah no it's, it's amazing honestly um, my father is a psychiatrist so he's a doctor um, and deals with mind so he's very good at communicating with people in general already mm -hmm. um, I think that's why um, it's so easy for me to communicate with him and you know I feel like I can just tell him anything like whenever something happens in that moment people always laugh at me because yesterday for example we were driving and I had a flat tire and the first person I called and took a picture it was my dad I was like dad just like you, you, know. you, you, you treated something very interesting. You say yeah. that, you know, uh, and you know, the reason why I'm so abreast to this is because I have uh, 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 You tweeted and you say that, you know, someone, someone uh, tweeted that you drive, you know, someone said that you drive like a man. Like a man, yeah. We were driving in a convoy um, uh, with my friends and I was the middle car and then the car behind us, our friend, he was like, oh, Melissa, she drives like a man. And I'm like, what does that even mean? Uh, now, before we get back to the music, because people are wondering, like, we were talking about something that people didn't understand. Yeah. So, there was an instance where, <laughs> before she traveled out, where we got almost arrested. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you with that. And she, she, she was in the, she was in the vicinity. <laughs> so. You should say, I came out because of you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She was, she was, so she was out. And uh, the manner in which this lady uh, <laughs> behaved perplexed me. <laughs> she was chill. She was chill. For someone who was traveling out, she was, uh, someone who was traveling out of the country the next day, she was just chill. And you know what really perplexed me the most is that, uh, and this is information that I was given, mm -hmm. is that you went out. Oh, yeah, I did. Um, you know what? You only live one life, pun intended. Um, and yeah, that's just that. But I feel like, I don't know, you have to live in the moment. And again, everything that is about to happen will happen anyway. So it's not really in our hands like that. So I feel like in the moment, me being, I'm very much solution driven. So if I can't change anything in that very moment, I leave it, I let it go. Because there's nothing I can do about it. Me stressing won't help the situation. Mm -hmm. So you might as well chill and see what happens next. Because what else can I do? I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I'm Melissa in the building. DJ Cassie on the ones and twos. I hear you. But you know, some of my experiences, you know, uh, I saw the other day she tweeted, she was, uh, you hung around, uh, you hung out with uh, Lydia Jasmine and yes, Walt, right? That's my girl right there. Uh, you guys are uh, very tight. Yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. Very close friends. So one of your clips, you are you actually at the Whiskey concert. Yes. Talk about that. You know how was it? Ah, oh, amazing, guys. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I've seen Whiskey live twice. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the shows was in Uganda, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the performance was just just great, and just to see Afrobeat, you know, in the UK, like a European country, and just 
a lot of us Africans coming together and you know just him selling out the old shoes it's crazy it was yeah, it's really crazy yeah yeah do you envision that for a Uganda artist definitely we're getting there mm. I am a strong believer that we are going to get there what do we need to do like what um, do we need to do I think it's definitely about you know being tight knit. What I realized just being around them in the UK, the Nigerians, because a lot of newcomer artists were there, and you know they were just all supporting each other, and Wizkid was putting everyone on. So I think um, we just need to work together more, um, and then also you know just analyze the market and you know see music as a business because at the end of the day. Is people out there that need to consume it. So for you to get to those stages, you need to make sure that you're catering for that or pushing your agenda to that. You mentioned that uh, for us to reach that, we have to see music as a, as a business. Yes. You, you're alluding that like, to a certain extent that we just do it for fun. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of love for it, um, a lot of passion. I don't blame Ugandan artists um, for how they're doing their music. It's because... If you look at the Ugandan market, what they're doing works for them here because at the end of the day, they need to survive. So mm -hmm. if they're doing music for people in Uganda to enjoy it, it's because Ugandans will book the shows and will pay them money. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense for them. But um, if we're looking at the outside market, it's a lot of input that needs to be put in in the beginning because all the whisk kids, for them to do shows out in Germany and stuff like that, you know, we were talking about this earlier, they had to put in a lot of their own money to like wow. do it first, you know, mm. um, until now where they penetrated so much that... And, and I'm very sure, uh, you know, artists listening right now, and we have two more to go in the building. Yeah. Would attest to this, like, yo, like you telling, are, are you are you saying that we should put money? Like, because if you're telling us to put money in it, like, uh, uh, what are we left with? Yeah, um, I think it's not just the money, but, you know, investing in general, like your time um, to really do the research, you know, sit down, get a team and really look at the market outside because it is different. So um, when I say investment, I don't mean I don't mean only monetary investment. I mean, you know, time, effort, team, other people and things like that. Uh, and I'm very sorry that I am actually drowning in, in this. Yeah. But uh, what is the one thing you'd mention? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, one thing that you would uh, advise, you know, uh, the Ugandan artists to, yeah. uh, you, know, you know, aggressively push for, you know, for us mm. to uh, get there. You know, one of the things that uh, has been advocated for, especially in the, in the East African industry, mm. and Calligraph Jones is one of the guys who's pushing this. Mm. No, actually not Calligraph Jones, Eric Omondi, uh, the comedian, mm. is to have a quarter as a quarter system where we have uh, a certain percentage of uh, our own music playing on the radio waves, like if you, mm -hmm. like South Africa and Nigeria, yes. where we have eighty percent of the music uh, being Ugandan music. Do you think it's possible? Yeah, um, yeah, I do think so. Um, especially, you know, when I was in London, I did see that there's a lot of Ugandan. Um, you know, people in the media industry that have come up and they're, you know, in different positions. So I do think that they are our key, basically, you know, because they are in the media over there. So they know how, you know, to navigate and stuff like that. So I do think if we were more connected and if they could come back home and then work with artists down here and see how they can connect and, you know, work together, I think that would make a lot of sense. Because if you have someone, a Ugandan DJ and a big radio station in the UK, why not play, you know, a bit of Ugandan music? And then, I mean, what else would you want? That's how you get the ball rolling. So I definitely think that that would be a way of, you know, getting in there.
That you know, listen, them feeling you know, I felt that jam. You know, I was looking at my boy here, and that's why I mentioned him. You know, shoot your shot, my dear man. You know, I, I, you know, I'm looking at this um, Gambia Marbles chick, you know, <laughs> think, you know, team oh my God, shoot you short, man. She's single, man. Fine as heaven, man. Mm. Are you in a relationship? I'm dead. No, I'm not. Yeah, true that, too. Yeah. <laughs> and she, she sat out. Mm -hmm. She did that thing, you know. You, you watch a lot of TikTok, she did that thing. What thing? <laughs> But you want my show, baby, I'll do anything to have you come on over. It is up to you, babe, wanting to confuse you. We can have your cake and eat it, too. Oh, yeah? Fire! <laughs> it's good music. Good music. That is it. But just, uh, you know, keep looking good, you know. I, I, I do I not know if you go for massage like on a daily basis. <laughs> I need to, to be honest. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Yeah, but thank you for coming through. Thank you for having so me. So how, how, how do people that, you know, uh, plug into your, you know, your music? Yes, um, the music is out on every streaming platform. So the Spotify, the iTunes, the Apple Music's, Audio Max, everywhere. You can just search for Melissa Minoji and all of the music will be there. Want to buy advice, you know, try and, uh, you know, do some collab with you because mm -hmm. you basically is a, you know, uh, you very know, talented. I don't very know. talented guy. Like, he has a jam called Chica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you guys for having me. Ah, yeah, Melissa is in the building. And then on that very night, mind you, like we had been going out. On that very night, we decided to take ourselves out again. I was really not having it. We were all tired. We should have just slept and stayed home. People don't want to sleep. What time is it? People do not want what to sleep. What time is it? 
like two o'clock. People do not want to sleep. As in, we're going up. Curfew. As in, we actually have no, curfew. No, 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 wait, wait. Curfew in Uganda <laughs> is at 7 p.m. What's the time right now? It's like 2 a.m. We have decided that we're going to rest today because tomorrow is another day of just madness. My hair rest is for the day. So. Um, I really don't understand what this lifestyle is. But I don't know if I can do it any much longer. I might just go and hide because look at this. What I have to deal with every day. This is what I have to deal with every day. Every day. I don't even remember where we went but first of all i said okay let's let me go because i'm hungry as well and at that time since uganda was still on lockdown it was hard to find food just anywhere um so bars were literally a good spot to get food from um fun fact our bars in uganda serve food the food that we got was not even nice so the whole outing was just forced That's what it is. <laughs> that is what they call never force life. Things you don't force life. Now you see. <laughs> and then we got back home, and um, I need to insert this little clip of Lids because. People think Lids is such a sweetheart, which she is, by the way. She has such a great heart. I love her. But this girl is so stubborn, like so, so stubborn. We were talking about love languages and I was telling her that, you know, some people's love language is physical touch. And I said, mine, for example, is not. I do not like, it's not that I don't like physical touch, but anyways that's a story for another day to be honest but anyways i was just explaining to her about my physical touch not being one of my prioritized love languages and then she was like if physical touch is not your love language what touch is it guys see for yourself physical touch. that means you want spiritual touch. i'm talking about <laughs> love languages <laughs> the different love languages oh, you touch. want someone to touch you physically you want them to touch you mentally <laughs> <laughs> and you're even laughing at me. Shame I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, oh, oh, Melissa. <laughs> yes, I'm saying it. You want spiritual, mental, physical, what? Well, you don't want physical. You want mental <laughs> and what? <laughs> Economical. <laughs> wow. <laughs> make sure you like this video and leave me a comment down below on what you think um, about today's episode and then I will hopefully see you guys in episode numero cuatro right four <laughs>